Hello and welcome back to our fire team series. In this first chapter we've been designing our characters. In the last episode we started work on our characters shooting and in this episode we're going to go through how to create the reload functionality. But before we do that we're also going to fix our third person point of view and talk about how we get that animation work too. So let's get started and work on our reloads. So welcome back and let's talk about what we've done so far. So far we've got our characters moving and shooting and aiming. Uh, however, there might be a slight issue depending on what kind of version of Unreal you're using. But you may see this error. Go up to a character. You can see in a third person point of view, their aim offset is making them vibrate. Uh, the solution to that is you just turn the aim offset play rate to zero. And when you compile this again, it will stop that little jitteriness. Okay, so next we're going to work on is the shooting. So at the moment, when we play the game, we can see our first person character shoot, but not our third person character shoot. So that works fine, but I can't see it in the other one. So that's what we need to work on. So the way this works currently is our weapon base, when we do fire bullet, is telling everyone to execute the first person character model to do that montage to play. Now obviously, we don't need it to happen to everyone because only the client who owns that player can see that animation anyway. Because everyone else has that mesh hidden. So we're going to change this up a little bit here. And also we need to tell them all to uh, animate their, um, their uh, third person character. If they are not the currently controlled player. So on this MC5 bullet here. There's a node you can use called is locally uh, controlled from the, sorry, I'm going to get from the player character, first person character. And drag from there is locally controlled there we go and if this is a locally controlled character who owns a gun we'll put this into a branch and put that into yeah so if it's a locally owned controller uh, player it's going to use the montage that we've currently got otherwise what we're doing is taking the first person character getting the third person mesh And get an animation instance of this. And telling that to do a montage play. Into the pulse there. And the montage to play here will be the third person montage. So we can just go into there and oh I've got to create it first. Let's go and create our third person montage. So we've got file fire rifle hip. Create a montage. And go back to our gun and we're going to choose the fire rifle montage. Now, when I push play, we should see on the client screen, first person, and on the uh, remote player screens, you should see it run in third person one. Then we'll make sure that our animation instance is actually set up to use montages. So go to your UE4 ASP Hero PPP animation, and you'll see here we've got no slot set up. I just right click in here and add a slot, slot default slot, and we'll plug that in. The last thing we need to check is actually the animation itself. So if we go to the hip montage here and let's push play, this all looks fine. But the issue is, is when we play this, you're going to notice that you don't really notice that much of an animation. And that's because it's a very, very short animation. And when the issues are when you're using short animations, is that your blend and blend outs will basically erase the bit in the middle the the most animated part so here is 0.25 long both sides my animation is only like 0.23 seconds long anyway so I need to turn this to be zero for both of these so now when I save this and go play the game I should now see my character animate their third person character Now at the moment you can see the animation is not firing where I'm looking. It's firing forwards, okay? And that's because it is a locked animation. We need to make it an additive animation so it adds on to whatever currently the aim offset is doing. So let's go into our fire rifle hip montage thing here. And open this asset. And we go change its additive animation here to mesh space. And on the animation for selected animation, we're going to use aim F. One that we 
save and let's go and take a look okay so go up here look down and shoot things look fine look up and shoot they look fine there too all looking good Perfect. okay so next we've got is the reloading let's go through how to set up the reload here so reload is going to be a function on our weapon base to help reload the weapon we're going to right click here and create a custom event to do reload now on here we're going to be actually doing a few things much like how we're doing shooting you need to tell what you're doing to the server at all times because the server needs to update everyone animations or stats that they may need or their own uses so the first thing they need to do is animate so let's just do the animation part of the uh, of the reloading so when i hit the reload button i want to trigger this reload action on the gun at the moment our interfaces we only have primary fire but we're going to be adding our own one to this again so let's just double click on primary fire double click on that sorry uh we'll go into focus and double click on that and it will take us to the interface and then i'm going to add a new interface to this and that's going to be reload wow that's all i need for this go back to my weapon base and we're going to see reload now in the list if right click on that and implement that event we now have it at the bottom here so obviously besides the number side of things we're going to just take to play animations first and foremost so on event reload here we need to set up a custom event to fire when this is called so i've made a custom event in here and we're going to call this one mc reload and that's going to be multicast to the whole entire game now much like how we did for the shooting with this branch in the middle here we're gonna have the exact same thing we we'll copy this and put this over here and we are then going to do again the same thing over here but this time we're going to change the montages to use let's just copy all this and put this over here so true will go up here force will go down here the same as before now we're going to put in the montages that we want to play. So the first person montage already exists. Um, no, it doesn't. Yeah. So the third person montage already exists in the game engine files because we're using the Anima Starter Pack. It comes with a reload animation for the third person. Uh, so if I go to down here, it looks like. Okay, so we've already got that. So I've gone ahead and made my own montage from this just by right clicking and choosing create montage. So on this montage, that's fine. But for the first person one, I didn't have one of those. So I'd go to the marketplace and I found a montage that I wanted to use, an animation rather I wanted to use called a reload. And this montage I'm going to make from this is very simple, but it gives us a reload in the first person point of view. Now, if you don't want to do this, what you can also do is use the same animations you see here let's retarget it and duplicate it for the first person point of view but this one though you probably would want to do the iron sights one to make it look a bit better okay so if you want to use this one again you can you can do just need to retarget and duplicate it back out for the first person arms they can do the same animation okay but i've got this one from the marketplace one okay right so next I made, as I said, I want to make a, a, a root, um, a, a uh, montage of this. So I'm going to browse for this object. Right click on here, create, and a montage. There we go. We're then going to go to our weapon base and go onto our montages here. Tell the third person one, play the reload rifle hip montage. And I'm going to go to the first person point of view and get the a reload montage so we've now got reload set up as a multicast event then going to call that multicast event from our input here so mc reload go into there and then on our player character is call that reload function so you're going to need to add an input action for this and this input action we're going to call reload and we're going to use the R key for that. Close that. So let's type in reload. 
and I should see action event reload. And when I do this, I'm going to, likewise with my FP gun child actor, I'm going to call the reload function on it. So go reload message and plug that into rest. Okay. So let's check out and see what that does. Go back into our game, push play. And if I walk up to my characters and hit R, my third person point of view is reloading just fine, but my first person isn't. Now the reason why my first person probably isn't is because the way they set up the first person animations by default by Epic. So to make that work for us here, we just have to analyze the issue. But the issue is, is that if we look at this other montage that we know works, we've got it working. Go on here, you'll see here that it's using a different group slot. It's using the arm slot. So what we'll do is make our reload also use the same slot. Let's go back to our thing here. Go to both montage. And let's change the slot here to arm slot. And now when I push play, we now should see reload happen both sides. Perfect. There you go. Now, obviously, this is just the visual element of it. There will be sound effects and actually changing of the numbers. But more on that next time when we start working on the UI to show our ammo counter and updating the ammo counter as we play. And there we have it. We've got a nice new animation for our reloading for first person and for third person. In the next episode, we're going to finish off our reloading by working on the UI and the actual functionality to get the reload to work. So join us in the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can watch all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. Make sure you download Fire Team over on Steam and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone. I'm ready to play now. Put me in the game now. I came here to prove it. I'm ready to do it. I can't be afraid now. Put me on the stage now. I'm ready to rage now. I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out. My time, my time. None of you people can tell me to stop this time like the last time. You better get ready to race to the I'm top. ready to do this. Show you what the truth is. I step on the field. It's time to get ready.